In this video, I'm going to give closure and clarity to the use of the comma in the correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar, i.e. quantum grammar technology. Now, I know I've given examples of comma usage multiple times in other videos, but I've never addressed it specifically, which is what I'm going to do here. And this is just a simple correct sentence structure claim. I was thinking about going shopping and getting some ingredients to make a salad for myself. Thus, for the claim of the grocery list is with the spring mix salad, scallions, peppers, pears, cucumbers, and carrots by the claimant's vision. Backwards, for the claimant's vision of the spring mix salad, scallions, peppers, pears, cucumbers, and carrots is with the grocery list by the claim. Cause, consequence, verb of the thinking, possessive authority. Backwards, cause, consequence, verb, possessive authority. The comma functions as the joining of a set. This is a set of things. It's a group of things. Spring mix salad, scallions, peppers, pears, cucumbers, and carrots. Conversely, you could say, for the claim of the grocery list is with the spring mix salad and scallions and peppers and pears and cucumbers and carrots by the claimant's vision. Or you could do this. Put commas in there that separate these facts from one another, but also fall under this position lodial set. With the spring mix salad, with the scallions, with the peppers, with the pears, with the cucumbers, and with the carrots. So in the syntax values, using the syntax values of two for a verb, five for positional, six for lodial, seven for fact, this is how you would syntax it. I hope you found this helpful in your quest for knowledge with the closure of the use of the comma with the quantum grammar construct. I do have a confidential Facebook group, and in that group, it's just mostly I post these videos and also students um, will sometimes pose grammar questions in there, and if I have time, I get in there and I respond to them over there in the confidential, whereas you know on this channel, I don't have the comments enabled, mostly because... Um, I like to keep the noise level to an extreme minimum. And in this Facebook group, which is confidential, I'm able to do that. In other words, there's no conspiracy theories. There's no name calling. There's no back and forth arguing. It's only about grammar. This grammar. So if you um, feel comfortable with those terms and conditions and those... Uh, that environment, an environment of peace and neutrality and education, feel free to look it up. It's called the Correct Language Performance. And there will be three items that you'll have to answer before you come on board. You will also have to give visual identification and a correct name performance for yourself because you know who I am. I'm just asking the same from you in order to board my vessel. Thanks again. Again, any questions, contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com in the confidential, and I'll give you the closures that I can.